Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here. And today I'm bringing you guys my new Blu-ray and DVD shopping guide for Tuesday, August 27th, 2019. Be sure to click subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload great new content. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to show it some love and give it a like rating. So there's a couple, uh, I think, really good titles to talk about this. Remember, you guys can find links to purchase all these movies down in the description below. So let's get right into it, guys. First up this week, we have Rocket Man. This one's releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart, $27.96. Best Buy and Target, $27.99. Best Buy will have an exclusive Steelbook, which will include 4K, Blu-ray, and digital for $32.99. It's also releasing on a Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. Amazon and Walmart, $22.96. Best Buy and Target, $22.99. And finally, it will be releasing on a DVD. Amazon and Walmart, $17.96. Best Buy and Target, $17.99. Now, Paramount Pictures did send over a copy for me to review. Uh, this is a cool artwork here. It kind of has a foil on. I love the way they did the spine. Here's a look at the back. Uh, I didn't actually even look at this, but it has some sort of uh, special booklet, a message from Elton John. So I haven't actually even looked at that. Um, maybe it's just, uh, it shows a book here. Maybe it's something to advertise for the book. Uh, pretty standard for a Paramount release here, black and blue discs. Uh, so this is the story. <laughs> of Elton John. I don't I don't know a whole lot about Elton John. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't say that I'm necessarily like a fan. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I hear songs on the radio sometimes or whatever, and I don't think they're bad, but I've never like tried to <laughs> search out his music or, or listen to it or anything. And so this one is kind of like a, a part documentary, part fantasy, part musical. And, uh, you know, a lot of times you think of these, um, as musicals, it's just because, you know, it's, it's got a lot of music in it. But there are parts of this where it does break out into full-on musical with the singing and the dancing and, you know, how they do in musicals. Although it's not a large portion of the movie, I wouldn't really call this necessarily a musical. But they do break out into musical-esque numbers for sure in this one. And um, there, there's some fantasy and just kind of like these things that happen to him and they're just kind of silly the way they do them, you know, not, not necessarily silly, but not realistic. And um, just based on the trailer, I thought it was going to be more of that in this. Um, but basically, it's the story of um, from when he's a child to some point in his career. <laughs> um, that was one thing I felt like this movie kind of, to me, didn't really succeed at. It's very hard to tell how much time has passed. Obviously, you know, in the beginning when he's like a four-year-old child or whatever till later when he's an adult, obviously that's easy to tell. But once uh, Taron Edgerton becomes Elton John in the movie, it's really hard to tell how much time has passed. Um, now, I was very surprised after watching this how many songs were Elton John that I didn't necessarily know were Elton John. Um, and th there were a lot of songs that I assume were his, but I, I didn't recognize just because, like I said, I've never really heard anything but the hits that they play on the radio. Um, and so what happens is the, pretty much the whole movie is um, Taron Edgerton, who plays Elton John in this. He's he's great. He's amazing in this. Um, he's in, like Alcoholics Anonymous, and he's basically just telling the story of his life and um, kind of about his parents and his musical career. I thought this was a cool movie, guys. I really enjoyed this one. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun. Very, very interesting. You know, like I say, I didn't know anything about him. And a lot of times with these, it's hard to tell exactly what's true. But um, very interesting, guys. I give this one a four or five. Definitely check that one out. Uh, next up is Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Uh, this one is releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon, Best Buy, Target, Walmart, all $29.99. Best Buy will have an exclusive Steelbook, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital for $34.99. There is going to be a 3D Blu-ray digital version. Um, Best Buy $29.99. Amazon and Walmart $31.99. Target $34.99. It's also releasing on a Blu-ray DVD and digital Amazon Best Buy Target Walmart all $24.99. And then it will be releasing on a DVD Amazon Best Buy Target Walmart all $17.99. Now Warner Brothers did send over a copy here for review. Now this is a sequel to the... Uh, 
you know, I'm probably going to mess this up. It's 2014 Godzilla, wasn't it? Um, and and it's, it's not... It doesn't have the same characters, but it's the same Godzilla. A lot of people didn't care for that Godzilla. So um, it, is the, it is the same Godzilla. If there's slight variation to it, I don't know, but it looked the same to me. And uh, here's our discs. Pretty plain, a dark blue and a light blue there. Um, and so what happens is um, the, the, this woman, played by Vera Farmiga, she's made this device that can kind of speak to the, um, I can't even think of what they call them now, the, uh, the monsters, but are they, are they called Titans or what were they called? I can't remember what they called them exactly, but all, all the monsters from the Godzilla, uh, movies and, um, they wake up Mothra and, uh, so she makes this device that can kind of speak to them. Not, not, not like talking back and forth, but kind of like alter their moods almost. And it's, it's hard to explain exactly, but you watch it and you'll see what I'm talking about. And, um, these people, they come and steal it and they want to wake up, um, the other monsters. And, uh, so, <laughs> so they have to have Godzilla come help them out. Uh, for, for a minute there, I thought there was going to be a ton of monsters just because it looked like they're going to wake up like every monster, but it ended up being uh, just a few. Um, I thought, I thought it was an interesting story. I, I think they improved on it and a lot of people complained that in the 2014, it was mostly about the people and yeah, the people in this one do have a big part of the story, but there's a lot more of the monsters in this one. Uh, there's a lot more action, I think in this one, um, they, they, I know they're doing a, a Godzilla King Kong uh, movie here sometime in the future. <laughs> they definitely put planted a lot of seeds um, talking about King Kong and showing King Kong. And to me, it just kind of felt forced as, you know, they were trying to set up this other movie. But um, I like this movie, guys. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, it was definitely cool to see the monsters and the action. and It looked really good. And it was just, it was a fun kind of action monster movie. I give this one a three and a half out of five. Uh, next up is The Flash, the complete fifth season. This one's releasing on a Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Best Buy $29.99, Target $32.99, and Walmart no listing. It's also releasing on a DVD. Amazon, Target and Walmart $27.96, Best Buy $29.99. Warner Brothers did send me over a copy for review. This one was, I believe, 20... 22 episodes and then it had the crossover episode um so in the start of this one uh the flash's daughter comes from the future um and she ends up kind of messing up the timeline or altering the timeline and they have to fix it and of course i don't know if this happens in every season i've only seen two seasons of this uh there's an accident or something and new metas are created it seems like they create a lot of metas on this show and uh, there also ends up being like meta tech created and a new meta killer meta 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 killer <laughs> i don't know what you'd call it um and he's, it's played by chris klein i thought he was really good in this it was really cool to see him on this and i thought he was really good uh on this season and um, so they're kind of dealing with trying to clean this up, trying to find out who this meta killer is, stop the meta killer. Um, and, and that's the majority of the season really is about that. Um, I thought this season was a lot of fun. They, they kind of kept it really varied. They didn't make anything too repetitive on it. Um, also the daughter, she kind of has all these secrets and you're kind of trying to figure out what what's going on because she's keeping stuff and you really don't find out. Uh, until the end of the season, exactly what was happening. Um, and also, you know, some of the people on the cast, um, or, or some of the characters, you know, they they are working on a meta cure, and so they have to decide if they still want to be metas or they want to be humans. And um, like I said, guys, I thought this season was a lot of fun, definitely worth checking out. Uh, I give this season a four and a half out of five. Next up is Killers Anonymous. This one's releasing on a Blu-ray and digital. Walmart $14.96, Amazon and Best Buy $14.99, Target $16.99. It's also releasing on a DVD. Amazon and Best Buy $13.99, Target $14.89, and Walmart $14.96. 
Um, now Lionsgate did send me over a copy for review, uh, Killers Anonymous. Now, this one has Jessica Alba and Gary Oldman in it. Um, but Jessica Alba dies pretty quickly into the movie. We do get a, a cover art there on the disc. She dies pretty quickly into the movie, which was pretty disappointing. And um, after the beginning, Gary Oldman doesn't really have a too large of a part in this. But basically, um, Jessica Alba is like a hitman woman. Hit woman man. <laughs> I don't know what you'd call it. Uh, and Gary Oldman's kind of like her handler or something or her... I don't know, somebody who facil facilitates the, the hit. I don't know what you'd call it. But um, something happens and she ends up getting killed. And then you, it goes to this Killers Anonymous meeting. And it's this meeting of all these um, hitmen. Um, and and there's kind of like all these secrets going on and like these twists. And the, the majority of the movie takes place at this Killers Anonymous meeting. I don't know, guys. I thought this movie was kind of slow. I didn't think the story was too interesting. It, it had a few moments, but I, I just really didn't get into it too much. And uh, like I say, the, the two main stars, uh, they're not in it a lot. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. I gave this one a 2 out of 5. Uh, next up is The Last Black Man in San Francisco. This one's releasing on a Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart, 1996. Best Buy, 1999. And Target, 20. 2099. It's also releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Walmart 1296, Best Buy and Target 1399. Now Lionsgate did send me over a copy for review. Uh, kind of a cool artwork there on the cover. Um, there's a look at the back. Uh, this one does have Danny Glover in it, but, but not, not a ton. Um, the inside here, it's just a blue disc. Uh, this this one to me was a little a little strange and a little long. It's it was about two hours, 121 minutes, and it's about this this guy who um, I don't know his parents you know weren't that great. They're both like drug addicts and they're they're not in his life. Uh, I don't know if it gives a real good indication of how long it's been. Um, he sees his mom at one point, and it seems like it's been at least a few years. And he goes and sees his dad. And um, they mentioned at one point that he was in a group home, um, so obviously when he was a teenager. But it does—I don't think it gives like a good indication of exactly like how long his parents haven't been in his life. Um, and and he, he's kind of just living with his friend. And um, basically, they they used to have this house. They lived there at some point, and they lost it, you know, the, from not paying the payments, I suppose and uh, new people have moved in and he he feels he like still takes ownership of the house he goes by there and he fixes it up and he cleans it and the people are just like leave what are you doing here you know and and the, the woman wants to call the police and the guy's like no you know just stop coming here and he, like they come home and he's painting the windows and he's just like doing all this uh kind of random stuff to the house to upkeep it because he feels like they aren't taking care of it and i was a little confused exactly what happens but uh, they move out and uh, there's some dispute with the owners or who owns it or something. And so he decides to just move in <laughs> and uh, kind of his dad had taught him how he could just squat in places. And, and this is his plan to just kind of take ownership because nobody lives there. And uh, I don't know, it's an interesting movie for sure. Definitely uh, that main character, Jimmy. That's his real name too, Jimmy. Uh, I can't remember the last name. But um, really interesting character, and uh, I just I just it was kind of slow to be honest. And um, you know, like I said, it was a little long. It could have definitely been a little shorter. I think would have made this one a little more interesting. I did enjoy it. I like the characters. I like the story. A, a little strange for sure. Uh, I give this one a three out of five. Next up, Apocalypse Now is releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart 2289, Best Buy 2299, and Target 2499. Lionsgate did send me over a copy for review. I'm kind of surprised this one's going for so cheap, $23. Uh, this is a six disc set. I did post a full unboxing if you guys want to check that out. Um, but this is like a trifold kind of thing, but I don't know that I've seen one quite like this before uh, with, the, with multiple discs kind of. And uh, what you have here is you have the 4K of the final cut and the Blu-ray of the final cut. On each on a disc 
And then you have the original 79 version and the Redux version in 4K on one disc. And then same thing on a Blu-ray. Special Features Blu-ray. And Hearts of Darkness, a Filmmaker's Apocalypse Blu-ray. I'm not really sure what that one is. Um, and you have over five hours of features uh, on this. Now, I had never seen this one. This is a, you know, a lot of people uh, really enjoy this. Okay, this is from 1979. And um, has Martin Sheen in it. And, and what happens is this is about the uh, Vietnam War and Martin Sheen is, uh, he's already going crazy. Like, I don't know, he's kind of out there and he's he's sent to go assassinate this other, I can't remember what he was, but he's another, you know, army guy and he's like deep into uh, Vietnam or he's in Cambodia or something. And he's, he's just, he's completely lost it. And um, the army just kind of wants him assassinated. And so he has to uh, go up this long river uh, in this boat with these guys. And they kind of run into some, some enemies along the way and some friendlies along the way. And, um, you know, I thought this movie was interesting and looked amazing. And, uh, like, I, I thought the performances were great. It's a little long for my liking, though, three hours. Uh, to me, it didn't really seem like it needed to be three hours long. Um, maybe some people are going to get mad at me, but I didn't think this movie really needed to be three hours long. And I kind of thought the journey there was more interesting than when they got there. I, I didn't I didn't really care for that, that last part as much. Um, definitely a good movie. Definitely enjoyed it. Uh, it's definitely one worth checking out. I gave this one a three and a half out of five. Uh, next up, Stand By Me is releasing on a 4K, Blu-ray, and digital. Amazon and Walmart, 1996, Best Buy, 1999, Target, 2429. Next up is The Secret Life of Pets 2. This one's releasing on a 4K, Blu-ray, and digital. Amazon and Best Buy, 2799, Walmart, 2995, and Target, 2999. Best Buy will have an exclusive steelbook, which will include 4K, Blu-ray, and digital for $32.99. Uh, I did pre-order that one, but I'm, I'm not going to have it for a couple more days still, so I'll probably bring you guys an unboxing of that soon. Uh, it's also releasing on a Blu-ray, DVD, and digital, Amazon, and Walmart $24.96, Best Buy $24.99, and Target $26.99. It's also releasing on a DVD and digital, uh, Amazon and Walmart $19.96, Best Buy $19.99, and Target $22.99. Next up is The Banana Splits. This one's releasing on a Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. Amazon and Walmart, $17.96. Best Buy, $19.99. Target, $20.69. It's also releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Walmart, $12.96. Best Buy and Target, $14.99. If you guys did see that Banana Splits movie, I'd love to hear what you guys thought of it. I thought it looked interesting. Um, I didn't get a copy, but um, something I'm thinking about picking up. But I don't know. Maybe it's really bad. I don't know. Uh, like I said, if you guys saw it, let me know what you thought. Uh, Into the Badlands, the complete third season, is releasing on a Blu-ray and digital. Amazon, Best Buy, and Walmart, $29.99. Target, $38.99. So it's releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Walmart, $19.96. Target, $22.99. And Best Buy, $34.99. Uh, I haven't received a copy of this yet, but I think I will be bringing you guys a review of that one in the future. Next up is the 16th episode. This one's releasing on a Blu-ray. Amazon, Best Buy, and Walmart, $14.99, Target, $16.59. It's also releasing on a DVD, Amazon, Best Buy, and Walmart, $11.99, Target, $13.29. I don't remember a whole lot about this movie, except for that it was the these group of people, I don't know, they were in Europe or something. I, I can't remember. I did do a review of that, if you guys want to check it out. Um, I did give it a 2.5 out of 5. Uh, next up, The Goonies is getting a Best Buy Steelbook, which will include Blu-ray for $14.99. Beetlejuice is also getting a steelbook at Best Buy, which will include Blu-ray for $14.99. The Exorcist is also getting a steelbook, which will include Blu-ray for $14.99. I've never been a huge fan of The Exorcist. I don't know. I never really liked any of them too much. Um, and then Salem's Lot will also be getting a Best Buy steelbook, which will include Blu-ray for $14.99. I don't believe I've ever seen Salem's Lot. Have you guys seen that one? What, what's it about? Um, but I did order The Goonies and Beetlejuice. Uh, again, I won't have those for a few more days, so I'll try to bring you guys unboxings of those uh, when I can. Next up is The Rookie, first season, releasing on a DVD, Amazon $22.99, Best Buy and Walmart $29.99, and Target $32.99. 
Next up is NCIS Los Angeles Season 10. Jeez, I've never even seen it. It's been on 10 seasons. Uh, Walmart $29.96, Amazon Best Buy $29.99, Target $34.99. Next up is Chicago Fire Season 7. This one's releasing on a DVD. Amazon Best Buy and Walmart $19.99, Target $27.99. Now, I didn't pre-order this one, but I'll probably go pick it up on Tuesday uh, just because my wife's really into it, so maybe I'll bring an unboxing of that one. Uh, next up is Chicago Med Season 4, releasing on a DVD. Uh, Amazon, Best Buy, and Walmart $19.99. Target $34.89. Next up is Doll Factory, releasing on a DVD. Uh, Amazon, Target, and Walmart $14.59. Best Buy, no listing. Now, if you guys made it this far, I'd love to hear um, that you made it. Uh, well, last up, I do have a few reviews of titles that have already released, but I, I just never got around to reviewing them yet. Uh, so first up, I have Batman, or Lego Batman, Family Matters. Um, this is, you know, another DC Lego movie. Now, somebody asked me why they didn't do a steelbook of these. There, there's been a lot of just kind of these non-theatrical Lego DC movies. They're not like the, the Lego Batman movie that was in theaters. Um, not, that, not that this wasn't good or high quality or anything. But they're just a, a different, a different kind of thing, I guess. Um, so this one, this one was really cool. They call it um, Family Matters because they called it like the Batman family. They got Batman, uh, Batgirl, Batwoman, Nightwing, and Robin, and <laughs> they got a lot of villains to fight. There's this guy, uh, Red Hood, <laughs> and and so Bruce Wayne, he's like, I don't know, he's grown tired of Wayne Enterprises, and he doesn't want to have to do any of the you know, the, the business stuff, and he just wants to be Batman all the time. So he decides to sell Wayne Enterprises, and they've created this new kind of, like, robot, artificial intelligence thing, and it gets taken into the wrong hands, and um, Batman has to learn his lessons, of course. <laughs> and uh, lots of fun villains in this, a fun movie. Uh, there's some comedy to it. I really enjoyed this one, guys. I thought it was a lot of fun. I give this one a 3.5 out of 5. Next up, The Sun is also a star. Uh, this one was sent over for review by Warner Brothers, and um, this, this is a very interesting story. This this man and this woman uh, meet, and um, she's from Jamaica, and her family's being deported the next day, and she's she's trying really hard to find a way that they can stay, and um, she has to go see a lawyer and stuff. And this guy, he's he's trying to get into school to become a doctor, and they just kind of have this chance meeting. And he wants to prove to her that uh, she she he can make her fall in love with him within a, the day or whatever. And so they have like less than a day together. Uh, and and they have these things that they got to accomplish during the day too. I thought it was an interesting movie, especially for, you know, a romantic comedy. It didn't get too mushy and it was fun. I definitely like the chemistry between the leads. And uh, I, thought, I thought that was an interesting story. I didn't really care for the way they ended it quite so much. Um... But I thought the movie was pretty good. Definitely worth checking out. Uh, I give this one a 3 out of 5. Last up is Perception. And this one, again, was sent to me for review. Um, this one is from Gravitas Ventures. This was definitely a strange movie. I think a movie that definitely um, warrants a rewatch uh, for this thing. Just try to take it all in. So this guy, he's like a developer, I think. Like a land developer. And um, he's... he's outside this building he goes to get his car to leave and there's like this kid in the back seat and so he he ends up like taking the kid into the the store or whatever and his, his mom works there and she's a like a psychic or something like that or a medium or a fortune teller or all the above and she's like well let me let me read your palms or i can't remember exactly what her her wording was and she's like all oh, this this woman's spirit is following you around and so she ends up like kind of agreeing to to be like a medium or whatever you'd call it and he's like paying her all this money um and and there's like i don't know i was kind of weird and there's, there's the, a lot of twists and her son is acting like really strange the whole time and it's really hard to tell exactly what's happening in this movie and i don't feel like they give you like a good wrap up and summary of what exactly was happening I think they do explain pretty much everything, but I wish, like, at the end there had just been some kind of, you know, summary where you just quickly see, oh, okay, that's what was going on. Definitely, definitely a strange film. 
definitely an interesting film. I did definitely like the, the lead actors in this one. And uh, this one's worth checking out, guys. It's, it's a little strange, um, but I, th I think in the end, pretty cool story. Uh, I gave this one a 3 out of 5. So that's it for me this week, guys. We'll love to hear uh, if you guys have seen any of these, what you thought of them. Uh, if you're picking any of them up, love to hear which ones you're picking up. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. If you haven't already, subscribe for our videos. Check with suggested videos. Check out my website, bobsmoorreview.com. And I'll see you guys next time.